we're going to create a restaurant website using google sites and in order to do this we need to come to this site site.google.com so this is the new google sites website and this is where we are going to be creating it from now if you look at this section here you see that i have a lot of website already created here already but um if you're starting off new yours will be new and there will be all these sites but what you're surely going to have is this template um section here so if you come over to this template section here if you click on templates you will see a whole lot of templates bunch of them so we're going to be using one of them to actually achieve what we plan to achieve today which is to create the restaurant um, website using google site okay so in order for us to do this we are going to use this one called restaurant so if you click on it we actually have all the templates and everything we need to set this thing up immediately so but i'm going to walk you through every things and corners on how to set it up perfectly and how to make use of um, each template the very best way so um keep watching so right now this is the template and if you can see here it's the, the design is already fantastic and it has several pages which is very 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 important for a website of this nature which is the restaurant website so in this website your customers your your um, customers can be able to order foods and the likes and have them you know deliver to them and you can add as much information as you want so i'm just going to walk you through um the basics and even show you um, um more detailed things so right now if you come to this um contact us page you're going to see how the contact us page will look like and we can even customize this further to fit exactly what we want go to chef that should be where you're gonna find about the chef or the owner of the website that makes the food or something like that so um, you're gonna have all this information here and you go to menu you're gonna find the food menu uh, available on the website so this is actually a fantastic um, template made by Google sites that we can use to set up this website so but let's go ahead to see how we can set it up so this is the restaurant name all you want to do here is to enter the name of your um website so um in this one i'm gonna call this one ko food so this is what i call this ko food and i like to center um i like to center it so that it stays on the center so i'm also if you have a logo you can upload here by clicking here but i don't have a logo yet so i'm going to use this um one as well and call it ko foods as well so this is the um let's say the logo or this the sign of the website this is the the, the the header of the website so we have this tagline here that says write a short tagline or notes about your restaurant this is where you want to fit in um, any kind of information you want maybe this is the best restaurant to order your food whatever thing you want to put here you are free to and it's nice so i'm just going to leave that so once we have this now you have this reservation button now why do i say we should use this template now we're using this template because this template already has everything we need you can even customize it add or remove or you know do it the way we like but for me if i'm gonna be creating something i like to start with the template especially if i have access to a template you can start with the template and then re-customize it remake it the way you want it okay so um for instance this um this section here called re reservations i like it a lot because this is where your customers can be able to even click on it and be able to book reservation for the food or for whatever um thing your your whatever menu you have on your restaurant so reservation i'm going to show you how to add forms so it's going to when they click on it they're going to be taken to a google form where they can fill in some information maybe the address the type of food and um you know any kind of information you would like to get when they click on reservation so i'm going to show you exactly how to do that but that's later so keep watching so right now this is the um, section of the website and one thing i need to tell you as well is you can also change the colors here so if you don't like all these colors you can go ahead to change the colors to whatever fits your brand so i'm just going to leave the colors but bear in mind that you can change the color so if you come over here you can change the color of this text by clicking here you can change it to anyone but i'm just not going to change it we can also if you want to click change it just click on it and click here and you can go ahead to 
click on this select color and you select and add the one you want to add but like i said let's just keep working with the colors we have already so after that we have this section here this is actually going to display a large portion of the food um somewhat maybe a sample of a food or something so you want to put in a very captivating image here and then you want to give it the caption a very good caption then you want to also write things about your website um that could be reasons why your customers trust you or why they should order um food at the restaurant or why is why it saves cost or you know different things that is actually going to be captivating enough to want to make somebody um use the website so you want to write all of those things here so after that we have this section here that says press coverage and you can add maybe one or two quotes and trust me you can also remove any one you don't like for example you don't like this one you can totally just delete it and it's going to be deleted but i'm going to control z to bring it back so you can enter in any information here maybe um different things or uh, different notes you want your customers to note either the website um meals normally takes us and so hours you only accept those and so pre payment get with you know all those information you can put it right here so after that we have this long list uh, section here so um you can go ahead to add even more section okay so let's say you like this um let's say you like this um button you can as well what i used to do is i try to you can see i duplicated it and i can scroll down here to put it here something like this reservations and i can also duplicate it and uh, now why are we putting this in because you want, you want people to be able to use it so i can scroll down here take this and bring it right here so depending on how you want to do it but i'm going to delete this one so um yeah so right now we have this um footer if we want to end this footer just click on edit footer and it's going to bring you up to this section and you can go ahead to enter what you exactly you want on your footer so if you click on it you can enter any information maybe your email address or copyright 2022 whatever thing you want to be in your footer you can go ahead to fix that up here and after that it's going to save and yeah this is basically your website okay very simple very demure very um straightforward to understand so now you can go ahead to customize other pages like the contact us page now these pages are very important because this is where your customers will be contacting you from so you want to make sure that all the information you're entering here is legit and it works 100 percent because you need your customers to contact you if they find one or two issues so um yeah so this is the location page and i'm sure um a map is here or something so i can go ahead to i don't need a map okay uh, I don't need that map, but if you actually need a map, you can go ahead to create the Google map and um, try to use it. But um, I don't need the app, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm fine. So, what, all, all you need to do is, uh, if we want to allow for you to release, remove the map, just click on it and click delete. And this one is okay. Location, you can see, um, location is okay as well. So, since we have location okay you can now click on reservation and enter your reservations but i'm going to leave that um yeah so um we have hours of working or something you can enter all of this information i'm not entering it it's pretty much very simple and straightforward but one thing i want you to know is you can customize it so if you don't like this saturday clothes you can remove it but i'm sure you should you should as well so um you can leave all of this information here they are very fantastic and you can also see a picture you can replace the picture if you want and the images and also the text to fa to fit what your brand is all about so the next thing we want to look at is the chefs okay so you have several chefs on the website you can also replace all of this information all of these images with yours and you have yourself a beautiful 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 website using google sites another important thing is the menu you can as well make this menu tailored to the kind of specific meal you are about to sell so um, make sure you understand it a lot and you enter all of those information here so that whenever they come on to your website to want to get a menu or something you can refer them to your website and they can see all the food menu available on the website so it's very very much easy and if you want to customize um maybe later in the future you want to even more customize the website then you can also reach out to me i can do that for you 
at a very affordable price okay so this is the restaurant website with all the pages i've showed you that and also showed you how to um get um some of the information i also showed you exactly how to use it and how to customize it so the one thing i would like to show you again is this reservation remember i said it in the beginning i'm going to show you exactly how to link it to google forms so what you want to do is to come to this website and search for forms does google.com so you go to forms does google.com so um right now these forms actually is going to help us create free forms that we can use on our google sites remember we are doing these things to use it on google sites so we want to make sure you're using some some of the um if some of the um stuff i'm recommending okay so right now we are going to create a form and in this form we are going to collect information like address phone numbers and uh, email address and so many other things that are very important for us to use in order to ship the product so you're going to do that okay so now how can we get the form so if you search right here um, scroll down you're going to see this um, stuff that said forms yeah so that's the form so you just click on the forms and it's going to bring it out here you're going to bring out all the forms you have with your google account so that's one thing you need to know so we want to create a form and they create all the fields if you don't know how to use google forms tell me in the comment section then i'll consider i might consider making a video on how to use google forms but literally simple create a form add custom fields as many as you want and allow the form to um be usable so i'm just going to use any form they have here already so i'm just going to see contact us form and yes so this is the form they are coming to yes so this is the form so what you want to do is control z let me remove this here so um this reservation this reservation you can create a separate page for it for example i can come to these pages and i'll just click on add new page and i call this um reserve i can call it reservation reservations i click on done and as you can see it comes on a blank canvas as you can see so um brought me here so this is the menu though this is reservations as you can see it's already at the menu but right now we want to add a form here so first thing i'm going to add the other so instead of calling reservations i'm go, uh, okay i'm going to leave it as reservations so it's, it's nice so we'll just leave it at what it is. So I'm just gonna come here and click on forms. So I'm gonna come here, click on forms. So I wanna add the Google form that I just created so that we can use it to collect customer stuff. So I'm gonna click on contact us. So this is the form right here. Let's say we have edited our form on our Google site. We have also added all the information we need to collect. So which is very important because at Google Forms is where you're going to add all those information. You can't do that right here on this website. So you make sure you've done all the necessary corrections and everything you need is on Google Forms before you go ahead to embed it here. So since we have this, you want to make sure you already have the right things you want to collect, maybe their names, email address, proof of payment whatever you want to make sure you do that here so once you already have that done so you can come over to this home page come over to these reservations and come over to this section and it's going to ask you for link so in order for you to get the link in order for you to get the link you have to go to your google forms i'm sorry you have to you have to come over to your google site sorry so i'm going to see um site.google.com or better still you can update your site you can make it public and now uh, for you to um do anything so let me just close this so let's say we have created this site and we are good to go on how it looks we have added all the information we want to add everything is good so we just click on publish and then now we are going to publish so i'm going to say ko foods and it marks me so this will be the website link so i'll just click on punish okay so i just let me just copy it very well 
so here i've copied the link to the website i'm just going to cancel so right now for us to add this um stuff we're going to come over here i'll paste that link and as you can see it says okay because i've not um saved it i have not published it so this is it so i'm going to publish so yes yeah, this is exactly how it is so right now we are going to do stuff so um i'm going to okay i'm going to publish this okay it's published already so let me try and refresh this page and as you can see we have the website um after we've published it so right now what we need to do is to come over to these reservations and then um copy the link we have here on this reservation so once i copy this i'll go back to <clears throat> my google site so under this reservation button i'll just click on and click on this edit so it says here it says link i'm gonna paste the link i copied from the website which is the reservation page and click update i'm also going to come down here to click on it so as you can see we need to paste that um, stuff here so i've pasted that link here i'm going to click on update it's actually going to update it and uh, we have done the same so you need to literally do the same for all the reservations we have on the website add it add the links manually so if i come over here uh, okay once you do that click on publish please make sure you do that if you don't click on publish your uh, changes will go live okay so but once you are published them then you're going to see that you have everything this is the form this is the uh, if i go back home as you can see reservations if i click on reservations now it should take me to a page um, on the website where we can uh, make our reservations through forms and the like so this is what i wanted to show you how to create very much simple and um, I, I, I want to believe it's simple to understand as well so you can set up a restaurant website without breaking the bank by using google site and you can also add your custom domain to this stuff okay to do that i'll try and do that on another video how to add a custom domain to google site so uh, if you're interested um make sure you subscribe and watch to the end and um stay notified so stay notified so that once i drop it you are going to find it okay thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you guys on the next one